The question is, how do you fix tax identification issue? How do you fix tax identification issue in AdSense? So I'm going to show you guys how to do that quickly, all right? I'm using Google Meet to do this, so let's just hope it comes out clear. Okay, so um, this is an AdSense account that I recently bought for this very purpose. Okay, before that, let me turn off my camera so I can concentrate fully. Okay, so this access account, um, you can see is a new account that needs to be verified, but the account has actually uh, earned around $52 on it. So uh, it's also showing the same thing, which is the tax issue that most persons are seeing on their own accounts. Now it's important you do this if it's coming up on your account. Uh, for some people, doing it uh, may not really be necessary because whether you do it or not, Google will still pay you. But there are also people that if you don't do it, Google will not pay you your money. So it's best you do it, okay? It's best you do it. So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to fix the task issue here. Okay, guys, so um, let's go ahead to fix this issue, all right? So the first thing you need to do is to click on add tax info. I've gotten the password from these guys, so let me try it again. Tax info, we click on start form. And so it will bring up this place for you to enter your password just to authenticate you. Okay, so I've logged in and um, it's showing now that I am the owner of this account. Okay, so I've logged in now. It's going to, the first thing it, it asks us here is what type of uh, account is this one that we are using? So I'm going to first copy this name hmm? because the name is the name on the account. If I remember vividly, the name is the name on the account. Let me just check again. Uh, I think the name is the name that was used to verify the account. Okay, so perhaps, uh, perhaps I will open this site in another tab, just so that I'll be sure. Open in another tab. So I want to just check to be sure that that name was the name that was used to verify the account, all right? So let's uh, let's check. It's important we do that because um, we don't want to have conflicting names in the task info side. Okay. So we are going to just check that. Okay, so that's the name, Aloru something. Okay, so the name, that's the name that was used to verify the account, all right? So let's just continue. So what type of account is this? we we'll select individual, then we click on next. So the next question is, are you a citizen or resident of the United States? So we we'll select no, because we live over here in Nigeria. We are not citizens of the United States we don't live there. So it's going to ask you to um, select a form, all right? So we are going to choose the one that applies to non-US individuals, which is this first one. Now this one is used for business entities, but we are going for individuals. Now, if you, if you have a business account, if your AdSense account is a business account, it will make more sense to choose this second one, 
right? Even if you're outside the US, it will make more sense to choose this. But because this one applies uh, to individual account, that's why we are choosing it. So we'll click on start uh, W8BEN uh, form, okay? That's the first one there, the first option there that applies to resident accounts. I mean, um, non resident accounts, non US resident accounts. All right. So over here, um, it will also ask us to put the name that we're using to do our business. It's optional, but sometimes it will require you to put it. So over here, we'll choose the country of citizenship. In our case, our country of citizenship is Nigeria. So that's the country we'll choose over there. Let's head down to Nigeria and select it. So you will then see that it's asking you for a foreign team and US team. These two are optional, so you can leave those two. Huh? Leave those two, click on next. So it's, it's now asking you your address. All right, so your address should be um, something that you can easily, maybe the one you are you use in verifying the accounts, or another one, you can just add any address there. Okay, so here I'm going to put uh, the address that was added to this before. So I'm going to select that the postal address is the same, so that I don't have to fill this one over and over again you don't have to view this one so i'm just going to choose postal address is the same as permanent residence address if it's not the same for you just change it okay but i'm going to choose that it is the same and i'll select next so in this next option it's going to bring up um past treaty so look at this are you, are you claiming a reduced rate of withholding, a reduced rate of withholding under a tax treaty? So I'm going to choose no. All right, I'm going to choose no. So select no too, then click on next. So it's going to ask you whether you do business in the US or not, we we'll choose we don't. See, has the individual identified in task identity section performed any activities and services for Google within the US? So I'm going to choose no because we've not done anything in the USA for Google. So I'm going to choose a certified that the products and services, you know, this answer here. All right, that we are doing everything for Google outside of the USA. Then next thing to do is to click here and it will go down to task reporting. All right, so here we are going to choose that we accept paperless delivery agreements. It means that everything that Google will be sending to you regarding your task treaty will come to you electronically, that is through email. If you want to get it through the post office, you select this one. So, but don't do that. Leave it on paperless, go paperless, and as well as I accept the paperless delivery agreements, then you click on next. So over here now, Normally you should read this. You should click on this task form and read it, download it and read it. But because I've read it before, I'm going to click on, I confirm that I've, re I've reviewed the generated task uh, documents to the best of my knowledge and believe they are true. So that's what you should select to. And then you click on next. Now it's going to bring up where you put your name as your signature. That's what I'm going to do next. So it said certify and sign task form certification. Tick this one. It means that you are affirming that all of these things written here is true and correct, all right? So if that is all you've uh, agreed on, you will then um, come here, select these two, leave the year the way it is, leave all of these things the way they are. The last thing for you to do will be to include your signature. But before that, um, you will select this, I am the beneficial owner named in the task identity section. All right. If you don't do that, it, or maybe if you select no here, yeah, you have to put another name. But the moment you select you are the one here, your name will be written here. So you just go ahead, click on submit.
That's it. That's it. Can you see that? Your, your task info has been accepted. If you look at this, it says the status has been approved. The status has been approved. You see the dates and everything. So that's it for this one. Now, um, let me check the email, whether they have sent an email. Okay, that's the email, your tax information has been approved. So you can see that your tax information has been approved. The moment they send you this email, if you have any money that is you know, pending, that the payment is pending, you just wait for the payment within the next six to 24 hours, they will send you that money. So the tax information has been approved and within a few minutes or hours, this option will be cleared up from the screen. So let me um, maybe refresh it or something so that we'll see whether it will clear up. All right. Let's go to payment info again and reload it. Can you see? It's now showing the task info which we have filled. So it's no longer showing that red uh, notification and saying that our payments can be withheld because we've not added um, the tax info. It's not showing that our tax info has been added, all right? The only other notification we are getting here is because this account's address has not been fully verified. And that one is what we need to wait for the PIN to arrive for us before we can do that. That's, that's not something we can fix electronically. If it's a Nigerian account, we need to wait for the PIN to arrive before we do that. So that's how you fix um, issues with tax payments, uh, tax info um, for US accounts, for Nigerian accounts, for Ireland accounts, for Ghana accounts, Pakistani or any other country that you are uh, in this world and you are using AdSense as a blogger. Okay, I believe this um, simple guide has been useful to you in fixing your tax issue. If you have any question you'd like to ask, feel free to drop it in the comment section or message the Trispark Academy on Facebook or message me on Facebook directly, Prince Gabriel Kocha. Just follow me on Facebook, you know, ask me questions in my comment section or DM and I'll be very much available to answer you. Thank you and take care. Bye.